Good afternoon again, uh, people from the great southern land and uh, people around the world. Look, I just um, want to do a real quick video right now. Um, in addition to what I did earlier uh, about the flags and the constitutions and whatever else. I'm going to wait for a couple of people to jump online and start this video. Is anyone online? Just give me a comment. All right, we're back on. I want to talk briefly, first of all, to the comment uh, that Sean made earlier on the earlier video about everyone being comfortable. Now, that's coming from the word of a person who's told me personally with their own mouth to my face that they hate their life and they're unhappy and they're, and they're, and they're sad and whatever else. So everyone is telling themselves they're comfortable and they're happy, yet they're scared, they're worried, they're um, living on the edge of being broke, of losing their home, many already have, whatever, you know, that's the situation we're in. Um, but the reality of the situation right now, and the only law that matters right now, is natural law, and that of the moral law. Because for without moral, we have no compass, right? So everything we do has got to be within moral law. The reason why natural law is so important right now and the only thing that has any effect at all is because natural law is the law of cause and effect. Okay? Natural law is um, cause of cycles, yeah? Like we see throughout history. We have a culling of populations, right? Natural law, cause and effect, okay? If I walk off a cliff, I'm going to hit the bottom period right now if i have an um let's say i have a dog okay and i start putting things into that dog that don't work with that dog okay that dog's going to get sick right if i put things into that dog's body that don't go and don't mix with that dog's body and have actually been proved to have a detrimental effect that dog's going to get sick right that's natural law Okay, natural law. You put things into your children, into yourself, that don't go with your body, you are going to get sick. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. It doesn't matter what the paper and the legislation says. It doesn't matter what the media is telling you. It doesn't matter what that, that man or woman smiling on there in their suit is telling you and, 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 and getting you to do it. It's irrelevant. Natural law will take its course, okay? I'm going to go back to, to these people arguing about who's right and who's wrong and what laws we should have and what law. At this point in time, the only law that's relevant is natural law because what is taking place is an assault on life itself. Yep. There will be no one left to hold your flag. There will be no one left to live your legacy. There will be no one left, right? Because of the detriment we are doing to ourselves and the planet unconsciously. Because as Sean put it, people are comfortable, right? They're comfortable because they don't want to look over here. They don't, have, they don't want to see what's going on. Are they really comfortable? Are they really happy? Are they really thriving? I don't know. Yeah? But the same person who said that to me also told me that he hates his life. So, you know, I think there's a bit of a, a lie happening here. You know, I'm comfortable. Am I thriving? Am I, am I, am I happy? Hmm. Not really, you know. I don't like the situation we're in at all. I don't like having my freedoms taken away. I don't like being told what I can and cannot do, you know, especially if I've not done anything wrong. But some people are comfortable with that. They think that's okay, right, until it hits them and then they're living with their mum or living on the street or whatever, you know, because that's how this is done. It's a systematic attack on the people one by one, yeah. They're not going to come after everyone altogether because they can't handle that. Right? So they just do it one by one. Yeah? But again, natural law is the only thing that is relevant right now in what is going on. And moral law. Yeah? And logic and sense and reason. Okay? And again, natural law is the only law that is relevant at this time because of cause and effect. Yeah? What you put into your system 
to affect your system, your personal system, your body. Then what you put into it is going to have, is going to be the cause of the effect, right? And if you put into it something that is not good for it and that gets lodged up here in the brain or wherever in the heart or anywhere, it's going to have a negative effect because it's not supposed to be there. Okay, this is a really simple concept. Yeah? It's the same with frequency, vibration, and how it affects water and matter and what our body is. Yeah? Certain frequencies have certain effects. Some are good, some are bad. Yeah? That's natural law. Yeah? If I put a negative frequency through my body for long enough, it's going to have a really negative health effect on me. That is natural law. That is going to happen. It doesn't matter what you're told and what you believe. That is irrelevant. It has nothing to do with it. It's natural law. Yeah? Natural law is if I sit here and I play my singing bowls and I put 432 hertz or harmonious frequencies that, you know, actually help cells grow and 528 or whatever else, that's going to have a positive effect. I mean, I'm going to feel really good. But if I start leave my Wi-Fi on, if I leave my whatever else on, right, and that's pumping out frequencies, military-grade frequencies that are designed to cause damage, right, and I allow that to keep coming, natural law is going gonna, is gonna to dictate that that has a negative effect on my body, my person, and my family, and everyone around me who's exposed to it. Natural law. doesn't matter what the politicians say. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you believe. It doesn't matter what the legislation says. It doesn't matter what the health minister says. It doesn't matter. Natural law will have its way with you people. Period. Yeah? And if you don't wake up to what's going on, well, it's already having its way with you. It is already having its way with the people. 100%. And it has been for years. Yeah? Because you refuse. Because you are comfortable where you are and you don't want to look at that you don't want to uncover that because that might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable that might make you feel you know oh oh that no i don't want to look at that because that that might mean i might have to do something i might actually have to do some work i might actually have to try and do something for my body my my, my body and my, my mind and my spirit you know if i look at that yeah don't look at it but don't whinge when the effect has its effect because of the cause you've put in it. Don't complain to anyone else. Yeah? Don't complain to your government. Don't complain to the media. Don't complain to me. Yeah? Because people have been telling you for years and years and years. Don't complain when your house gets taken and you're thrown out by yourself. Don't complain when your child dies. Do not complain yeah? when your child gets sick or has a disability. Don't complain if you're refusing to look at the information and make your own decision. Do not complain. Yeah? Because you're too lazy and complacent to acknowledge that natural law exists and to even do your own research in the name of your children and your family and life, whatever. And you think, people like that think that their government and their representatives are going to do that for them. Well, I'll tell you what. If someone comes to, comes to me and says, mate, I don't care about being healthy, right? If they come and say that to me, I'm going to say, no worries, mate. Don't ask me for any advice. Don't try and take any of my time or any of my energy because you're not interested in it, right? It's that plain and simple. Yeah? If you are comfortable how things are, if you're complacent the way things are, no problem. Don't come looking for detoxes. Don't come looking for solutions. Don't come com complaining, looking for compensation. Yeah? Because you've had your opportunity. Prevention. Yeah? To prevent it. Prevent these things before they get any further. Yeah? Instead of just turning the, turning the other way. Oh, I didn't see that. I, oh, no one told me. You've been told a million times. They're telling you to your face every single day. And you refuse to look at it. So don't complain. Natural law will have its way with all life on earth, with everything, yeah? Because the majority of people refuse to look and open their eyes and wake up and educate themselves and listen to other opinions 
or beliefs or truths. Yeah. They'd rather just label that a theory over there. That's a th that's someone else's belief and a theory. And, and because they're not on TV, because they're not wearing a suit and a tie and they're not smiling at me and it doesn't make me feel good, I'm not going to look at that, right? I'm going to put that over there in the too hard basket and I'm just going to, I'm just going to get told what to do by, by that, the thing I'm looking at right now. That's going to tell me what to do and I'm just going to accept that because I can't think for myself, yeah? Isn't it? That's how it is. Oh, it's preposterous. It's a conspiracy, whatever. Natural law will have its way with every single life, every single organism on this planet. Always will, always has. Yeah. No complaints. Thanks for watching.